Hello, my name is Manda. I am your Ambience Music Producer. This is part four of my game scoring series. Join me in the studio today when I walk you through an epic space themed track for a game. family. I hope you've had an awesome week. Welcome to the part four. Today will be all about how I created the sound to this epic exploration track and the creative process behind it. You will listen to every single isolated element in this track and watch them build up to the full track. So stay to the end of this video because then you will see the track in its whole epicness. If you have missed my previous episodes in this very series about game scoring, just click here. So ever since a very young age, I've been extremely mesmerized by epicness, like beautiful soundscapes, especially in movies. that builds up this tension. It creates something within us when we listen to it. And I remember as a kid, I was just blown away by how emotional I could get by watching film. I remember like composing the music in movies. It was like a dream of mine to do that in real life. I always get like goosebumps, my hair is standing up on my arms when I listen to epic music. It feels like it's a part of me and it started very, very early. The studio is kind of my orchestra, you know? I got all the tools I need right here. It's that very cooperation between the brain, the imagination, the instruments and the digital tools that creates the magic. And I got it all in this little space. And that's the magic of music production. Now I will turn the intensity up a notch. Let's build some tension. Exploring, thrilling, epic, atmospheric, activity, travel, combat, all of those things that makes my hair stand up. And this track is actually my personal favorite. I would love to know your personal favorite in the series in the comment section and we can discuss it. Oh, below this video, there's this little button that says subscribe. And if you hit that, check in the notification bell so you don't miss out on my future videos. And if you enjoy this particular game series, please give this video a thumbs up so you let me know. But with no further ado, let's hit the project in Pro Tools. Like in previous episodes, we'll start by just picking the single elements and listen to them and see how they together build this track. Let's start with the bass and see how that sounds. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> this totally sounds like wet farts, but <laughs> but this bass, uh, together with everything, it just makes it sound like, you know, that cinematic vibe. That's the bass. And the next part is, I call it alien bass. It's something just to pick up the intensity and make it feel like you create a pace. And this in itself is just really like thrilling, right? It feels like something's about to happen, something's about to unleash 
and that's what I uh, that's what I like about this. I talked about pigments. Uh, it's my favorite plugin, especially when it comes to cinematic uh, sound design and you know cool synthesizers. Really customizable, like 100%, and you can just tweak the sounds to infinity if you would like to. And I'm not going to talk about pigments in detail today, but. I just wanted to tell you about my favorite plugin. This is Pigments. You got to look at this name of the synthesizer. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. I think that says it all. Anyway, so the alien bass is also made in there. This next part is a, a uh, drum or percussion to also elevate, like intensify the pace and the thrills in this track. Let's take a listen. Very simple, but this will make you feel a little bit stressed or, you know, um, excited. So it's a very important element to this track. And now the next one is a sound that creates the epicness, I would say. Uh, without this, it would be a little bit dull and normal, I'd say. So this is also like a drum, a deep drum that intensifies the mood. Let's take a listen. If you stay to the end of the video, you will hear the full track. Uh, but all these elements, I'm very proud of how they are selected. It gets so obvious now when I listen to them solo. They're really like boring, like solo, but they all take their special place in this track. And I'm very, very pleased with how everything got arranged. I think that's why it became one of my favorite as well. And then there is, uh, from the middle of the track, there is like... I call it heavy piano. I've tweaked this piano sound a lot to make it feel a little bit distressed and not too piano. Uh, it sounds like this. can hear that little like glitterly like drops almost it's those little details that makes the whole difference to me less is more we got more hits you guys <laughs> more hits less is more. exciting hits these are actually called <laughs> we got the clear hit this is like a uh, I don't know, sword thing, or like a laser, laser beam or something. What do you think? I really love that one. And then we've got the thrilling hit. Pretty similar to the exciting one. Yeah. That also adds to the cinematic groove, that really epicness. It's a lot of percussion bits and pieces. Now we will get to the melody. Exciting movement in the flux mini um, to create this uh, interesting soundscape. Yeah, really like that one. It's gonna be really cool together with the rest. Oh my god, now, my friends, we are arriving at my little baby that keeps showing up in all of my tracks, which is the space horns. My lovely, lovely space horns. But this one is just perfect for cinematic ambience. It sounds like this.
don't know, dude, but it sounds like something out of anything Lord of the Rings fantasy. This is the part that just makes it, this is a movie or something. Very, very simple as well, like it's super organic and common. Then we got a choir. This is not a real choir. Honestly, I could do it, but sometimes I just feel like the synthesizer version of a choir can really suit an arrangement, like that you don't even want the, like an organic kind of choir. It just works. Like in this kind of music, it just works. I'm gonna take you through the uh, some details. We got um, some white noise. Uh, I talked about this also in previous episodes. If you feel like a mix is extremely dull or just flat and nothing exciting is happening, try to add some noise. Not only does it make the track very interesting, but it also adds in the space of that frequency spectrum. So you get those really high, high frequencies that just somehow glues everything together. I have become truly addicted to noise in different shapes and forms. There are about one million different plugins that can create noise. So this is the white noise that I added. That is like so simple, so simple. You will hear it in the final result. Now, I have panned some alien sound into the left because I want it to feel like something is coming at you. Something is lurking here and just wants to get hold of you and it feels a little bit uncomfortable, thrilling, um, scary. And it sounds like this. I do like that a lot. Like, also without that element, like, it gets a little bit more scary. It feels like you're in a movie. It is time, my friends, to listen to the final project, the full song of epicness. Before I hit space, ha, ha ha, no pun intended actually. Before I hit space, make sure to subscribe to my channel. For more of this. We are gonna fly off into infinity, into an epic exploration in space. Are you ready for this? Let's go.
That, my friends, was the exploration track. And this is my personal favorite because it feels so cinematic to me. But what do you think? I would love to know your opinion on this track. Hit the comment section down below. Thank you for supporting an independent producer like myself. I do have loads of other videos here for you to watch if you'd like to keep watching more of my ambient music. See you in one of those.